Welcome to How It Works, a video series from Law Sites in which you get to see hands-on demonstrations of legal tech products directly from the developer. Today's featured product is Agileoft, a global leader in agile contract management software. And even better, we're going to see a first look at a new release that Agileoft is unveiling called Connected Experiences that lets users connect with the tools they already use on a daily basis. Here to tell us all about it and show us how it works is Andy Wisher, Chief Product Officer at Agileoft. Andy, welcome to How It Works. Thanks, Bob. I'm, I'm delighted to be here. Thank you for having me on. So tell us a little bit about what it is that you're releasing now. Sure. So we've just announced the Agileoft 2021 winter release. Um, my team and I have been working on this over the past six months, uh, and we're, we're delighted to now bring it to customers. Now, the theme for this new release is connected experiences. And why do we think that's important? And, and what, 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 what do we mean by that? We believe that it's time for us to rethink our attitudes towards contracts. I think for too long, we've, we've viewed contracts as this shield often relegated to a, a dead end digital representation of its paper form. And I think Agileoft is, is reimagining how we think about contract data and, and thinking about it as, a, as a, an important digital asset, one that often you know, we describe as representing the DNA of the business. Um, it has the instruction set or the form or the shape of business transactions um, and business relationships, uh, whether that's inside the company or outside the company. So with this winter release, I think we, we're moving CLM from a legal tech product to an enterprise tech product. And we're delivering these connected experiences to, to help our customers work with contracts in, in the tools that they, they know and trust. It sounds like you're taking uh, contracts out of the file cabinet and right into the enterprise workflow. Ab absolutely. And that, and that data representation of the contract is really important. Collaboration on the contract um, is really important. Uh, we often think about how Agile often enables this acceleration of a connected system of record across the enterprise. So, so can you sh show us uh, a little bit about what you're talking about here? Absolutely. So, um, Bob, I want to do something slightly different than perhaps other product show and tell in the past to be able to bring these connected experiences to life. We're, we're going to follow actually a fictitious company called VivaTech, and they're working on a high value, complex deal with one of their customers called Biosphere. Uh, and in fact, we're going to pick up the story on the last day of the quarter just as the VivaTech team are anxiously awaiting uh, whether the deal has been done. Great, well, why don't you show us, uh, take us through it. Okay, so Bob, here we are in Microsoft Teams. And um, you know, since the pandemic, VivaTech, like many organizations, have been living inside Microsoft Teams. Mm -hmm. And for big deals like this Biosphere deal, the sales team have created a dedicated channel where they can make decisions quickly as issues arise on the contract. So as I mentioned, the team are anxiously awaiting regular updates from the head of sales and the general counsel on whether the deal has been signed. But they don't have to wait too long now because the new Agileoft for Microsoft Teams notifications will be pushed directly into Teams. So maybe perhaps when a contract needs um, approval, um, or perhaps when it requires sign-in, or in this case, uh, when the deal is done. So the new Agile for Microsoft Teams is going to help sort of reduce those approval cycle times, keep everyone on the same page, and uh, avoid people having to dig through their inbox for those important emails. Uh, I, I'm glad to see that you're liking our, our little <laughs> Lego man there. <laughs> Clearly some excitement around this deal. Yeah, absolutely. But, but I think there's an important uh, moment in time point here as well. Like 
our professional lives are in these types of tools, but our social professional lives are in these tools as well. It's where teams are coming together to celebrate things. And um, uh, so I love that aspect of this connected experience as well. Yeah, that's a great point. Um, let's continue the story, but we have to wind back time a little bit for our friends at VivaTech. And we're going to follow their journey to success um, and look at how further enhancements in the 2021 winter release has helped them. So one month earlier, it all started with a request here in Salesforce. And we're really delighted to announce that the 2021 winter release, we are releasing a new Agileoft app on the Salesforce app exchange that enables you to connect Salesforce to Agileoft in, in fewer clicks and less complexity than our prior approaches. And this, this means that our customers can be really in control of the flow of data and it helps them get their sales team set up requesting contracts you know, within 15 minutes of installing the app. So let's continue to follow that contract on its journey through Agileoft. And now we're here within Microsoft Word. So after that request was submitted from Salesforce, Agileoft generated a draft contract that came from an automated template. But we know that this deal required a heavy amount of negotiation. And we're really also delighted to announce a newly redesigned Agileoft contract assistant for Microsoft Word that's going to help reduce negotiation cycles, improve accuracy, and, and reduce and contain risk. This means that our users can compare clauses in the current document uh, with similar clauses that exist within their clause library and also clauses that exist within the contracts inside the repository as well. And we've added some neat new indicators to show where a clause is either a standard clause or a fallback clause. There's a new guidance section that enables our customers to help negotiators know when to use a clause over, over another. Um, so helping them connect their playbooks, if you like, directly into that experience inside Microsoft Word. And we're, we're really proud of this newly redesigned connected experience and, and really looking forward to our customers uh, using it. So maybe to the next part of the journey, we're going to end up here in Tableau. Now, why are we here in Tableau? Well, that newly designed negotiation workflow actually means that there will be improved clause tracking, improved clause usage within the Agileoft platform that our customers can then tap into the intelligence that they're gathering about how their clause library, their clauses within their templates are, are performing. And with this release, we've significantly improved the Agileoft Tableau uh, connector. So that enables companies like VivaTech to create custom visualizations and track which clauses are being negotiated the most within, within the platform. And here we can actually see it is indeed that indemnification clause that our lawyer on the, the prior example had modified. That's the clause that's getting negotiated the most. And that might mean that this template needs to be rebaselined, that um, they have to go back to the template to optimize the template uh, to avoid these negotiations happening. So to the final connected experience that I want to share, uh, and this is the one that I'm most excited about. So we're delighted to announce a tool for creating and modifying your contract templates. Um, we've extended our Agileoft contract assistant for Microsoft Word with a new point and click template designer. So this, this is used by lawyers within the legal team to build the optional clauses, the data points that are going to, to go into a contract that's generated from this template. So doing things like adding variables or conditional clauses or signature blocks, it's super easy. It's also really visual. So uh, we're, we're displaying the markup in different colors within the contract template itself. 
And here we're, we're actually seeing the VivaTech lawyer find the indemnity fallback clause in the clause library, bring that into their template, and they're going to add a rule around that clause that says, let's use this fallback clause when deals are over a million dollars. So that, that, that means that that will become the standard for those bigger deals. And, and the, the result is that there will be fewer negotiation cycles on having to um, swap out that, that, that clause every time if, if the first draft of the contract has the more appropriate clause. So we're, we're really super excited about this, this new template design feature um, again inside Microsoft Word. Yeah, that looks really fantastic. Is that a combination of, of, of templates that you have pre-created pre for the customer and that they're designing themselves as they're working? Typically, our customers are creating those templates themselves. Okay. So as part of um, uh, as part of their implementation of the Agile Off platform, they'll 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 look at the the templates that they already have, and they they will work with us and our partners, perhaps initially in getting those templates into the Agile Off platform. Uh, and this add-in makes it easier for them to create new templates right. to modify those templates Great. as well, based on the playbooks that they already have. Exactly. Yeah. So, Bob, I hope you feel that we've got a really exciting release on our hand. I think we're opening up uh, an exciting new world of connected experiences and we're excited to really be part of this transition of moving from legal tech to enterprise tech and delivering the connected experiences for our, our customers to work on contracts in, in the tools that they know and that they trust. Now, really interestingly, I'm here presenting on the Agile Off platform, and uh, we've not actually looked at Agile Off in isolation. That that all of these examples that that form this release are are examples of Agile Off connected into those other products. So we think that's really exciting. Yeah. So thanks for showing that, Andy. What's what's really interesting to me is that you're really taking the power of Agile Off, but you're incorporating it into the workflow, you're incorporating it into the applications people work in every day and, and making it pretty seamless. And that's that looks pretty cool to me. Great. Yeah, no, I think it's about meeting the users where they are at that moment in time, whether it's they're, they're within Salesforce, where there is data around that um, particular opportunity. Um, perhaps there's order or product information sitting within Salesforce that needs to find its way into the contract or the lawyers, you know, they're most comfortable within that Microsoft Word environment and we're bringing the tools to them at that, at that point of need. So this is all being introduced as of right away or is this being phased in yep, over time? Yeah, straight, straight away. This is part of the winter release that we're announcing today. We'll be rolling that out to customers, they'll be upgraded over the, the, the next few weeks. Fantastic. And if somebody isn't a customer but wants to find out more about this, how do they do that? Uh, they could go to agileoft.com and uh, learn more about the products um, and uh, reach out to us via the website. Well, Andy, thanks so much for showing that today and sharing that release. It's really, uh, really exciting news. It's a pleasure, Bob. Thanks for having me on. Well, that's it for this episode of How It Works. Find the full series at lostsidesblog.com. And we're also on YouTube. This is Bob Ambrosi. Thanks for watching.